Daddy, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. We got Scoon Gang Slick in his bitch, man. You know how the fuck he coming. MAF T-Ski, what you on, gang? MAF T-Ski, man. I ain't no shit, though. I'm chilling, though. I'm in this bitch with members, though. We bull. I want some chill shit, though. Man. So that, brother. Hey, welcome to DJ UTV. It's definitely a blessing to have you. Let the folks know who you got on the couch with you. Shit, I got Drench Gang, Big Op. Where the fuck we coming? I got Folly, G Geeky. I got Drizz Gang, Lil C, EBK, Lil C. I got Money Mark, Scorn Gang, Lil Mark. I got Drizz Gang, Lil Hot. I got EBK stunning with me. Where the fuck we rocking? What's show that? Scorn Gang, Drizz Gang, man. Members. Real faces, though. All real faces. You Without me, you know all these niggas without me, you know? I don't even gotta be there. You gonna know exactly who these niggas is. Yeah, why not? So that. How y'all brothers feeling tonight, man? We feeling good. Yeah, we feeling good. Free drink, free quine, man. Free drink, free quine. Free drink. Free mom. Free swine. I'm feeling good, though. And yeah, when y'all say free drink, y'all talking about Lil Wet? Yeah, you know that. Damn, so, that, so he got picked up for real? I ain't gonna lie, I thought that shit was nah, like fake. Yeah, it was false. False. It was they false. said he got picked up for but yeah, he got picked yeah, up for right. shit. But what the blog yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 For sure so that, for sure so so that, for sure that. Well, MAF Ski, brother, you the hottest upcoming artist in Chicago right now. That's what DJ you said. You know that. I ain't hear that from nobody else. I let that come out my own mouth. Appreciate, you see what I'm saying? Appreciate it, man. You know that. I'm so look, man, it's definitely a, a blessing to have you here. You know, we definitely want to get to know you, get to know your story. You feel me? Can you start by telling us where you're from? I'm from 99th and Preston, Rosen. Rosen area, man. From the hundreds. You know how the f we coming. A lot of my think I'm from the birds and shit, but I put on for the birds. So you can say that too, you know? Right. I moved to the birds in like seventh, eighth grade, middle of seventh, um, beginning of my eighth grade year. Then I did, you know, my whole high school out there. Right. I went to Hillcrest and shit. And okay. shit, you know, it's been up there since. Be, be acting like, you know, I'm straight from the birds, but I ain't though. I'm from Rosen. And we be here, you know, we, I've been birds for a minute though, so you can say I'm from that too, you know. I ain't gonna take that from my name and shit. You can say that, you know. Well, you know, in, in Chicago, that's definitely a thing, right? That nigga ain't from the rack. He from the birds. You feel me? Me, myself, I grew up over east, but in my eighth grade year, my folks moved out to Markham. You know what I'm saying? So I relate to you with that, right? Hey, but so, with that, I know people that are most savage in the birds than a lot of people in Yeah, for sure that. For sure that. So that's why I was getting ready to ask you, you know, like, regardless of where did your parents live, where do you claim? Do you claim Roseland in the Hunters or do you claim... Shit, the suburbs. Uh, on my son, that's exactly where I moved to when I moved from Rosen. I moved to Markham, Illinois. Right. Great, great. That's crazy you said that. So, like, um, I'm from Rosen, you know? Yeah. Like, on my son, like, when you when you see Tiski, like, on big screens and, like, shit like that, like, nowadays, you know, um, the birds got the most recent, like, interactions with me. Okay. You feel me? Because, you know, that's why I went to high school and, like, right. became a man. And, you know, by sophomore, junior year, you doing all type of shit. You fucking, you driving, you right. doing all type of shit. I'm from from a baby, like, from zero, from when I first was born to I was 12 to 13 in the hood, you know? Right. And I can't drive, I can't, so I'm just doing a little bad kid shit, just out all night, you know? Shooting dice, little shit like that. Hooping and shit too. Good shit too. Like, you know, but I was bad as hell, you know? Mm -hmm. And my OG moved me out the, out the hood, like out that shit to Markham and all that shit, cause she thought that shit was like a difference. And it is though, yeah. but you feel what I'm saying? It's still the same shit. It's nothing but 20 minutes away from, you know, my block. My pops grew up, like, I grew up on my pops block for real. He from 101st and Perry, you feel me? Mm -hmm. uh, my mom grew up, she, my OG grew up on, 105th and Wentworth. So that shit, like, they be in tour and shit. Like, my side in tour in Wentworth, you know, 99th from Preston to like 105th, like that shit. So like my old, you know, I like, I don't know why I say I'm from wherever, like you see me at that I'm putting on for on duck, no, no, take nothing away from shit for it. Yeah, for sure. And for those that's watching it and think that, you know, just because the word is suburb, 
It sounds sweet. You know, I tell you, ain't shit sweet about Markham. Nothing. Don't, don't okay. they call it murder Markham or something like that? Like, I don't fuck no, that shit. Ain't shit sweet about Harvey at all. At all. Man. I mean, it's more nicer areas in the city of Chicago than it is. It you just know what look saying? like that on Craig Gary. That shit just look like that. Like, you, yeah. That's why I say you never judge a book by its cover. That shit just look like that. You don't just see a bigger house in the birds or or... No sidewalks or some weird ass shit like for it to be like, damn, what the fuck I'm at? Like, you know, yeah. but the same shit happens. And on my son, like, it's common, like, the areas is common, like, people thoughts is common as fuck if you're a regular person, like, if you're not a weirdo. So, everybody, mama folk that grew up with they OGs and they people, just our grandparents and shit, they coming from the hundreds and the low end and all that shit, wherever you from. And they move into the birds. Like how my OG thought that? You think his OG ain't think that? You think one of these? Sure. Like they OGs ain't have that same shit on their mind. By the time they kid getting older, they don't want their kid growing up in that environment. You know what I'm saying? So they trying to do what's best in they, you know, yeah. that they could to fix it. But old time, you gotta move out of town for that shit. And people don't be having the fun. That shit cost money for. Like, yeah. you know, money gotta be able to move with. Me and miles away, okay. And even as a kid, I I must admit, from my experience, it's it's low key exciting to move from the hood to the suburbs. Oh, like son. that's a you feel me, yeah, you moving it's, up. It's a new you know shit. What I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's a new shit. shit. For real? It's, it's like, like we done. Yeah. We, we used to be done to go to the suburbs. Right, right. Like, like that used to be a thing. Yeah, yeah, see that like done for that shit. You yeah. in swear to God. Especially when you grew up in them apartments. Now you get to go see big ass houses. Like you know what I'm saying? We ain't never seen them before. Yeah. He begging me to go out. I want to go over there. <laughs> 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 oh, fun, <man. laughs> So tell us what it was like for you growing up, though, Tiski. Like, shit. I was bad as hell. What was I your was... household like as far as uh, both parents, any siblings, stuff like that? Shit, I'm named after my daddy and shit, you know? I had, like, a like a trench-ass family. Like, um, my OG used to drop me off on my daddy's side a lot, you know? My mama adopted, feel me? So like uh she know her adoptive families and shit. I know them too and shit though, but I'm more like closer to my daddy side, cause that's my biological side, so I'm really like, you know what I'm saying? Uh shit. I grew up in like a like a like a under my grandma until she died type shit. Mm -hmm. She died when I was like seventh grade, you know? And then I lived with my auntie, which is my daddy sister. You know, my OG went to the feds when I was in seventh grade for like eight months, a year or some shit like that. And when she got out, she got me back and we moved to the birds. But like I ain't never had like no two parent home. I don't care. I don't come from that shit. I don't come from like it's always been just me and my mama. You feel me? Right. I know the fuck out my daddy though. Like I knew him a lot. Like you know. But I used to get dropped off like to my grandma and my daddy used to like pop me in and out and shit the career because she lived with his mama and shit. But he ain't used to like you know. But I know my daddy used to give me buy me shit a lot like father shit like that. You know what I mean? That's so you know we got to look. I look just like his ass. We got a real relationship. You feel me? But right. yeah, I always live with my mama though. So are you the only child? Nah, it's four. My OG got four boys. I'm the third. Okay. And so when your mom went to jail, how, how, how did that affect you and your brothers? Shit, we split up for real. Come on, two older brothers got their own daddy, and then I got my own daddy, and then my little brother, he don't even know his daddy on Craig. Like, this shit trenches. My OG should be lying about him, like, who his daddy is his whole life. But that's what come with being in the rack, though, on Craig, sure. Craig. You feel me? Like, for sure. this shit up, you know, like so he'll call my daddy daddy and shit. Like he call my daddy daddy and shit, you know, and and you know, like but I used to tell little brother like fuck that ain't your fucking daddy on career, you know, because I'm a real nigga. And my little brother you're younger than me at that, like you know. So I tell him what's up, you know, so he don't just be around this bitch, you know. And by the time he was down at twelve, he knew like damn, my OG is probably just out. Of and you know, just have it, you know. But it, it's all love though, cause you know, his mama love him. Like she tell him all the time, like I'm his daddy, I'm your daddy and your mama. You feel me? My OG say shit like this out of mouth, like I'm your daddy and your mama. F that bitch, talking about whoever daddy, you know. But free school ball, that's my oldest brother. He like 30. He gone right now. Free big bro. I'm funny. Scully. I'm funny. He blind. I'm funny. I'm blind rapper on Craig Gray. Hey, look, hey, look, bro. On the smoke, I don't want all three of y'all to be smoking all three of them. So if we could, just keep it like one at a time, you know? Yeah. Because all that smoke on the camera, uh, I blur it out. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying, just be, that's, I just want to be mad for the smoke on the camera. 
Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, we here to do an interview. We ain't here to get high. You know what I'm saying? I just want to, you know, keep it cool. You know. Oh. Uh, but okay, okay. So we learned about we learned about Tiski uh, growing up. Um. So all boys, your mom had. Yeah. Okay. Uh, around what age did you drop off the porch? Um, like I've been coming outside since like probably like like ten, eleven, and shit. Like just you know, staying out late as hell. You know, shooting dice. You know, I want smoking weed and shit. But I was around a lot of weed smokers and shit. I just want smoking and shit like that. And then probably like when I moved to the suburbs, for real. I ain't gonna lie, cause like I ain't start overplaying with guns and shit. So like we got older. You feel me? We got older and like knew the realness and like you know about that shit. Like, I don't want just no kid just picking no gun up, you know? Shit, I used to fight a lot of all type. Like, I got, like, kicked out of every school I went to for, like, I never graduated in no career. I don't even have my diploma because, like, shit like that. I'm smart as hell, though. It's just my behavior fucked up, you know? I don't be for nothing. Like, you know, I'm little shit. I get in a lot of fights on career grade, like, my whole, so, like, that shit stopped me from going to school. I stopped, I don't like school for real, you know? Right. But, like, like growing up and shit, like um, I jumped off the porch, right? You know, we started like when we got off and shit, like when, when we start getting to it with niggas and shit, and niggas start throwing shots at us and shit, for real, you know? Yeah. Uh, you know, motherfuckers. But I already was already bad as hell, so it wasn't shit to pick up a gun. Because when we was younger, we was making money, seventh, eighth grade, and the older niggas that was around us, they was hating on us. Like, so we been here to get to picking up guns and shit and put to protect ourselves. But like we just always been ahead of our time. Yeah, but we're like blowing them bitches and really in tour with niggas and shit. Like, you know, I we used to be wishing for that shit. Like, man, we can't wait. You know, we probably got like two, three guns. Y'all couldn't wait for what? Like, to get some options. Awesome. Until great, great. niggas started shooting up. at y'all, y'all couldn't wait for that? Then, for nah, to get, get in tour with like niggas for a real like, purpose. Just, yeah, then just carry it. Don't fun yeah, There's no kids. point. Yeah, yeah no, as a kid, there's no point to have a gun because what the fuck you gonna do? You basically asking him going to jail, you just finna go outside and do something with a gun because you got one, because you a kid. Right, so That's basically you, you, you gotta saying wait. y'all just couldn't wait to be able to use the guns y'all had. For a minute, yeah, for a reason, wait, wait for a reason. Don't care, Right, right, right. A right, reason, right. basically, you know, a reason. Right. Sure, ain't no. We got, we got this bitch, but we got this bitch for a reason. No reason. I understand what you're saying. Wait for a reason. Like, when we came up, a lot of older niggas ain't teach us shit that was more hating on us. So we was just, we was eager to show niggas like we ain't the ones to play with. Yeah, we younger, but we'll fuck you up if it comes down to it. Right. Then I ain't gonna lie, for we never had like no big homies like to get us guns. Okay. Feel me? Shit goofy. Like, so it's not, it's like, you know, that shit, you know, it's not just. Like the rack, like you can't just. Well, I know, I know in the area that you grew up in, um, car cracking was real heavy. You know, a lot of guys, they weren't necessarily like, Banging or you know, like yeah. shooting guns and shit out yeah. out in the South Suburban area, they was I'm getting running. money off the cars. Mm-hmm. And I hear you talk about that a little bit in your music. Yeah, we seen a lot. Of so you had any experience with with, with, with the cars? Uh, yeah, we don't do it, but we seen the people older than us. They did that shit. Yeah, you know, shit like, like we that. We seen them. They was going crazy. You remember the? They had them uh, Impalas with the lamb. Everybody was putting Lamborghini doors on them bitches. Right. Shit, but but <laughs> that shit old as hell, and that's old as hell. I'm yeah. correct, like Brian twenty fours and shit. That's like we was around niggas like that back then. We damn, they getting money and shit. Like so, know? how influential was like the car crackers? You know what I'm saying? The scammers, what they call them now, right? They was big coming from the south south suburb. That's probably the first motion that they got like right. for that's what, that's what exception, I'm like right. exception, like damn, I want to go out there. You know, yeah. like like if it's no, if. Anywhere you go in the world, if there's no reason to go, who you not finna catch a motherfucker. Like, I wanna go out there, you know? That was like the first inception, I feel like, from the suburbs to make pull up out there, shit, for some money. Who ain't gonna pull up for some money, you know? Yeah. Type shit, so. Cause I hear you, I heard you made a, uh, you made a reference in one of your songs, uh, basically about wiping some shit down and not giving a head nothing. <laughs> you know, so if you know, you know what that means, right? You know what I'm saying? Not that. <laughs> oh, my son. Well, know, like, I, came, I came a long way from that shit, though, blood. I came a long way from that shit. Like, we don't even play like that no more, you know? Like, that shit old. Like, you know, like, you know, I just ride my life, you feel me? You know? Like, you just you never get away from me, like, who you is, you feel me? Uh, you know, I'm dealt up and shit now. So, you know, 
I'm with majors, all type of shit, you feel me? Like, I got real success. Like, I turned my music to real success, so I don't never got to look back and do that shit, you feel me? Like, that shit was like my high school life, okay. you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and actually, that's like a culture, like where I come from, and people live off that shit. For sure. They like take care of their babies, and then they mamas, and then buy cars, and like, all types of shit, not saying it like that, but how you get it, you get it, you feel me? Yeah. I always want to go like legal with my money, you feel me? I mean, you, you gotta do what it takes to get to whatever you need, then once it's time, it's always time. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't stand the game forever, you know? Show that. So like, you know, I, like, I'm blessed, you know? Uh, came a long way from that shit, but that shit was, oh, that shit was fun, you yeah, know? For sure. Um, for sure. It's all about a hustle too. Where we come from in Chicago, it's a hustle. You know, you gotta get out and get out. You're goofy. You know, you're gonna get out of your you know, get how you live. You By any like, means necessary. Goofy. Huh? By any means necessary. For real. Like, that's how this shit go. You know? Any nigga I'm with, oh, my son got motion. I don't, care. I don't gotta give him a dollar, but I would because I love him. Like, you know, I don't look out for any nigga right here. It's like sitting like, right here with me off rap, like rap money. I don't care, Gary, because, you know, I ain't never had shit from them. I got a, I'm in a situation that on Craig Gray, out of my whole crowd, I'm probably the only nigga that signed. Like, you know, like even that do music, like Big Out do music, folks do music, you know, they still chasing their deal, you feel me? That's like a, a artist, like big time, like go, right. you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you get something started to be nothing. Like, not saying it like that, it just comes from, like, you know, I always wanted jury, like all this shit, like I spent dog shit on all this shit, right. you know? And there's nothing now, you feel me? Because right. it's like, it's biggest shit in life. You know, like now I'm trying to get like a Grammy go, you know? Like Dirk just won his Grammy, that shit hard, bro. Shout like, out to Dirk. That, shout out Dirk, you know? Like sure. that shit take a lot of work, and a lot of like time to yourself, you know? Like, you know, reevaluating life, you feel me? I got all that shit to go, you know? Like sure. I'm just getting out the trenches, so you know, I'm cleaning up a lot and like getting myself better as a, you know? individual so Fono can eat and Fono can do right and, you know how all the legal money for like so we ain't gotta worry about no none of that shit you know what I'm saying like sure. but other than that like it's this bitch been going up sky you feel me yeah so tell us tell us when did you start rapping and and who influenced you to get in the booth I started rapping in like 2018 Shit, I big brother Long way my nigga school, um, Katie. Like, um, that's really the reason. I ain't gonna say that I'm rapping, but my brother was with me when I made my first song, I'm Dirty Cup and shit, you know? That bitch did like 400 racks. You, on YouTube, you know? Uh, I used to shoot with Ricky Arts, shout out Ricky Arts and shit, you know? That was my first shooter, right. you feel me? Uh, we was going crazy. Ah, my first song was with bro. Shot the video with bro. KD was with me the whole time and shit. And I made the hook. I'm like, this shit hard? You think it's hard, man? Shit, we took it out. Took it back to the stool, put a verse on that bitch. But I started rapping in 2018, fool, man. It's been up here since, for real. And motherfucker who told me to get in the booth, myself, for real, you know? And I- already been one of us getting in the booth, we are really loving this shit. Yeah, like, rap like, for real. Wrong, we I was just gonna say you know, best cars, we got bankrolls, we ain't walking around with less than 10,000 in our pocket, we fresh as hell, so they really sure like that, right? Shorty, shorty. So they, they, all the old people around, like, man, y'all need to start rapping. I'm fun, I'm living that shit. We pulling up straight, I'm pulling up straight, I'm Greg Greg, nigga, Hellcat, I'm like 18, I'm my son, tweaking, like, you know, like, racks full, pulling up red guts and shit, straight. 2018, we kids, but no, that's uh, you after 16, yeah, yeah, this shit is 16. I got my shit out the big bro. I'm walking around with 30 bands on us. We just cash money, bro. Cash money on oh, my son. Cash money, like, you know. Hey, y'all might as well start rapping, y'all. And I see how niggas like, I see how niggas like get in that bitch and like, I'll be like, I could do that, fool. Like, you know. I'd be like, I could do that on Craig Gray, you know? I, I, I see a nigga popping on Craig Gray. I'd be like, folk, I got all that shit. I could do that, you know? And that's how it really started. Like, I need to get in this bitch and just make it make sense. That's all it is with music is just getting that bitch. Like, you will see a nigga living it up, popping it every day. You know how to pop it on IG, doing it. Like, you sit him in front of a mic, that nigga gonna freeze up. Like, I can back cash money. I'll put money down. Niggas freeze up when that mic come. You could be the most popping shit on earth. 
Cause it's just a man thing. It's like niggas be thinking I can't even do it. I can't rap on phone. You got a little talk. Motherfucker NC, I can't even rap for. You gotta make two minutes a a good ass song, you know? On Craig. Two minutes feel like when you rapping and shit, two minutes feel like uh an hour. You know? Cause you going like I punch in, so I'm going bop 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 bop, you know? On Craig. You ain't trying to fuck your song up. So now I just get in there, I'll pop it, I don't write a shit, but but hell yeah, though. Hell yeah, I just, you know, I'm, that's all I do is pop it. Like, that's how I made it to rock anyway. Like, that's what I get in that bitch knowing. It's the man thing. When I'm on my way to school all the time, like, be like, man, before signing, I'd be like, damn, man, am I gonna make a good song today? And I stopped thinking that shit. Cause it's like, that hurt me. That hurt my session. That hurt everything. Cause like, why am I even thinking that? I should already know this going in that bitch. You feel me? It's a yeah. confident thing. It's just like putting a shot over basketball. If you think you're gonna miss, oh, my son, that bitch finna miss. <laughs> you gotta know it. Think it's gonna hit, and that's how that weird ass shot gonna go in from full court on Craig. Cause Drake. you gotta see it to believe it. On my son, you know what I'm saying? For like real. you gotta see it happen before it actually happens. Yeah. If you can't see it happen, then turn it ain't gonna happen. Bitch up and mm -hmm. turn around. Feel me? If you can't see in. it happen, then it ain't gonna happen. That's gonna happen. Okay. Yeah. For sure. I get away from people when they talking like they that. Like that. I swear to God, like I'd be like, bro. You got like three strikes around you to do that shit. Like if I come outside with you, we get in the car, get in the car, we just ride. Now you say one thing that just thrown, thrown off, like thrown confidence, some confidence shit that's thrown off. Some yeah, some thrown shit. Like why some thrown shit? Hell no, nah, you got one strike. All right, that's the first one. Now if you say some weird, like I'm getting away from you, bro, you gonna bring that spirit on me. You gonna. Yeah, we hate we hate them type of people that's over tough and study trying to. Point that gun at every car moving and stuff. We ain't yeah. like you chasing it. You Enjoy don't right do all that. Forever. You just wanna be. You trying to rule some shot in the car. You just oh, irritate us. Fuck. Level Sit the one fuck back. Hey, so so okay. Uh, just just resetting. You know, we getting. You know, when did you start rap? You say 2018. You know, yeah. uh, your first song. Uh, 400k views. Dirty uh, club, yeah. But let's so let's talk about your rap name, right? M A F T S K I. And I learned from your no jumper interview that M A F stands for money and family. For sure. Uh, where does the T S K I. part come from? Uh, shit. the T S K I. Fun already gave me that. Um, uh, you know my name started with a T, so shit. I I ain't know what the name like on my son, like you know the street. Like growing up, everybody called me like T baby. And okay. shit, like growing up and shit. I used to be little as hell, but I hit my growth spurt probably like sophomore to junior year, shit like that. And I got tall as hell and shit. Um, but the T ski really come from like, you know, my name for real. And then shit. I wanted a name nobody had. Yeah, I want finna. Yeah. So, so right. You know, so the guy said, "Fuck it, we call him Tiski." But at the same time, on Craig, I'm against. I'm against like pe like telling people what to call me on Craig. You can call me what you whatever you want to call me. That's acceptable to me. Okay. Like you know, I got slick. I got Tiski. I got T baby. You know, and off that like. You know, I'm leveling up in life. So off what you call me, that's basically what you know me off of in life. You feel me? So if you call me T baby, you been knew me before the deal, before all type of shit. Right. You calling me T Ski, you already know me off music damn now. You know what I'm saying? You call me my real name, that mean we went to school or some shit. Right. Or you know what I'm saying? Right. That's right. how I right. be right. like for real doing it. Slick, my new little alter ego on Craig. Slick, that's him. You know, like okay. slick almighty slick seeds, you know how we rock. Right. Right. You know, that's when I'm popping it, you know? Okay. That's when I'm outside I'm, you know, that's who you see, that's who made it happen on Craig, you know. Tiski couldn't get over the hump. I ain't gonna lie, you know. So Slick had to come, in, you know, and play. And, uh, you know, yeah. put his sauce on my dead brother, on my son. Tiski was trying though, you know. He was trying, just couldn't hop the fence, blood. On Craig Gray, Slick helped him. Now he popping it, you know. Yeah. Now I can, you know, I take my jewelry off this shit. I probably Tiski and shit, but when I got all this shit on, you know. Yeah. I'm slick all my. Oh, so God. look, bro. So 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 let's talk about that, right? Because what I hear you talking about is reinventing yourself right yeah. like you using different names but what you're talking about is when i was a shorty people called me by my real name uh -huh. then you know i became t baby yeah. and then once i started rapping i became t ski yeah now i'm rapping i'm popping it, i'm slick no problem. right That's so you, you reinventing go. yourself you started rapping in 2018 yeah. and now we in 2024 yeah 
and you one of the hottest rappers in the city. Okay? Bless. So tell us about that journey. You know what I mean? Bless, bro. Bless. Like, God real. You know? On the end, nigga. Everybody to know God real. You know? Like, I really believe in him. You have to believe in him. You feel me? That's what make it happen. That's who call the shots. You know? You have to live life just off, you know, how it is. I believe in everybody's life is written out. You know what I'm saying? Your life is written out, bro. You, DJ, you, you was already written out to interview Tiski to the day at this time. Sure. We didn't know this. Sure. You know? This shit was already in play. He was already in play to be interviewing motherfuckers and making real motion. And, you know, like, you really help rappers out and it, rapper, any motherfucker who has a name, you will call up on your stage and chop it up with them and give them a chance to win off your platform. You see what I'm saying? Right. Which is love, bro. Like, you know, like, me personally, like, blood, like, I, I, I never gave up. But I gave up, you feel me? But I never gave up in my heart. But physically, I gave up a couple times only because of, you know, what happened in life. You know, like I lost my best friend, you feel me? Um, I went to prison, you know? Like I was on house arrest for a year, all type of shit, you know? Right. But through all that shit, I never stopped rapping, you feel me? Um, anything that was stopping me from rapping is life and my, my decision and behavior. I tell everybody as an upcoming artist, you know, I'm just making it. I'm a tadpole to the industry as we speak. But Beyonce, Jay-Z, even Gorilla, even Sexy Red, they ain't no shit with them. For real. You know, they take hard work. They used, you know, they started, went there, going out, you know. Some niggas get stuck in career career, you know. I'm scared for that for myself. And that's why I still go hard to this day. And you'll never see me never stop dropping. You'll never see me. I plan to rap for the next six years of my life before I do anything else or convert my money to anything or any other business or sign another artist to, you know, really go hard for him, you feel me? Yeah. Type shit, but, cause you know, it's just steps and levels to life, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's time, you know, it's time, like, you know, it's time for me to- So what you, what you 24 years old? I'm 25. Okay. Yeah, 25. So you say you, you want to- Born in 98. You know, about you 30, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I was born in 98, I'm five years off 30, but I turned, I turned 26 in like four months. Right. Um, before I turned 25, I was 24, bro. I told myself, like, man, I got to find a way to make it in life, you know? Like, I just know what's up, you know? It's getting too late. I stopped everything I was doing probably for 12 months. That from 12, from then to now, it's still going. I ain't going to say too much. I told myself I never gonna stop rapping, but I knew I was hard. I didn't do this. It was so many signs and ways and comments and even shit that was in life, like views and videos, you know. I just went to jail, lost my, you know, lost. I came back my first pick, did like 7K, first video I dropped, did 300 racks off getting out of jail, you know. I just was f***ed up in here off jail and was like missing out on life and what was popping in. You got to rap about that type of shit. You got to live life and get outside. I was scared to even get in certain cars. I was on parole, you know, like shit like that. Like you got to be outside, boy, for this shit, you know. Yeah. Like you got to, we ain't got to be outside. I'm outside, boy, for real. Me and Photo, we be outside. Like we ain't know none of that, you know. Like and this our shit, like the rack, this our shit. Like niggas say this and that on my son. They gotta come see us on my son. Like you hear a name, you hear our name. You can't say who that. You can't say who is that. You you from your mood. You doing that? Any nigga I'm with, like for real, yeah, like motion. You know, be, that shit bop. Niggas be wanting to be in tour, don't even know me. That's <laughs> weird. That's yeah, just shines. That signs that show me you a goofy in life on Craig Grave, you know? And you like you a clown. Like, how you in tour with somebody you never seen, you know? How you in tour with some? I'm here to tell you that all these niggas that be, they never seen me blood and blood and flesh. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. Like, I ain't never went to school with them or nothing. I'm crazy. I don't know if these niggas want my spot. I don't know what it be. Niggas be just hating. I'm crazy. My name be in their mouth. They don't know me. They only know me off YouTube and Instagram. I'm crazy. That's weird as hell. You know? I never say I'm into it, no nigga. I know or, or anything. It be altercation. We DM each other all type of shit. Fuck you, nigga. I'm killing you all. The time. I will not get on the platform and say I'm in tour with this man. I don't even know you. I'm Craig Gray, you know? Yeah, we got DMs and I'm treating you, trying to pop your shit back at me, but I don't even know you, you know? So like, was that kind of like the type of situation with Lil Deuce? Yes. Hell yeah, yes. That's exactly what it was. Because like, y'all was getting into it over the word scoom. Yes. And like, who created the, the word like, scoom? Me? Exactly, like me, me. came together with that shit, 
I don't care if it's pretty supposed to do this. You know? Those were my exact words right there. My brother Gray. That shit. That's what makes sense. They go, they look. Dude, that's behind Shreddy. He a real artist, born real artist. They so just do that shit up. Scone, scone, that motherfucker. Scone, scone. You know? She gotta be approached the right way, though. She gotta be approached the right way. Honestly, I'm gonna tell you what you just said. That's everything. It's all about you coming. Because it ain't about what you do, it's like, how you do it. It's how you do it. It ain't about what you for say, example, it's how you say it. For example, Fulham just walked in. What you say, damn, y'all ain't even addressed me, damn. Oh, I'm on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> on Craig Ray, tell him I'm fucking, get the <laughs> fuck out. On Craig Gray, that's what I do too, bud. Like, what the fuck? That's like somebody coming to my crib, bud, not, not speak. What the fuck? I don't care if you came, dude. Like, what? He said, what up, Denny? On Craig, you watched him say, what up? Like, I know you did, you know? So, like, it's, it's like, I understand, like, you know? And how he's coming at people. And overall, on my son, I have to say it because I'm on your platform. And Shorty sat on this platform and showed you all type of shit. Talking about Tiski got a song. No, nah, like, it's no beef. I'm right. saying, like, it's no beef. But why is you putting in the world, like, you standing on someone, you on my back, like you say, over a word on my son when it could have just been what phone them just said, could have been scorned, whatever, however, but you know, and it could have been the way you approach them. Then you get on your shit. Tell you, look, me and Tiski got songs, but I don't really want to work with a nigga like that, but like it's still no beef, like I'm telling you. But me personally, I, I got my likes and my don't like, just how you. Right. Everybody is human, but you right. like shit, you don't like shit, but right. like I don't like none of that shit to happen, and I would never work with a nigga like you know, honestly, you know. And that ain't got nothing to do with him or nothing like that. Any nigga that think he gonna get some work out of me and mood like that is goofy. What the fuck? That's goofy shit. You feel me? So okay, it was that. that. So if there was that and he got on this platform and said that, like, look at this and want to show this shit off with Tiski and shit, you bogus for you. Man. You came out of the situation. You sh that's your character. You showing your character to the world. And I stayed back and I chilled out and watched the whole thing. And the honey spoke out one time. That's why it's even a big thing and shit. And you know what I mean? Time they poked at the bell blood. You know what I mean? Time they poked at the bell blood, literally, blood, and I didn't say nothing because I have a team. I'm bigger than niggas, blood. Yeah, they got an artist that went up before me, that I get flowers to. He went up before me, you know? He got more followers than me. He got, you know, you feel me? So I get flowers on this dude, blood. I got this bitch now. I'm Craig Gray. Niggas can't get flowers like, like that and say that. So I'm going to take my flowers back. I'm Craig Gray. I'm not going to root on the nigga that can't say what's going on right now. If you say I ain't got the record, you delusional, you know? Like, you up in the head, you know, for real, and I'm not fucking with you because you fuck up in the head, but you know, yeah. and I don't fuck with people like that, like you know, I just got my likes and my my dislikes, but Ooh, spilled the mm, drink, damn, spilled. Just, yeah, no, kick the cup, kick damn, the cup, or spill on cam, show these niggas. Hey, you you just made it. DJ you history. You the <laughs> first one <motherfucker> to <laughs> kick a cup <laughs> on the couch. Damn, on phone now, Yo, on DJ you. <laughs> That was the biggest mistake of my fucking life. But, but to come down to it is like, you gotta approach it the right way. And with some niggas, ain't no coming back from a lot of shit. Cause if you do, you get them shit shake and go right. You know what I'm saying? You open the door for all type of snake shit to go on behind the door. For sure. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, we cool, we ain't into it or nothing, but at the same time, uh, be you gotta get respect and get respect. And then on another note, I don't know what, how this shit go after this. You get what I'm saying? We cool and all, but yeah. who knows it? A next nigga get high and think and do some other shit. All that be so, in the studio with some niggas like that, hey, we right. got it's all this animosity in there. It's like me hanging with my homie. I feel like he got some animal. Mm, my son your ass can't come around me no more. I'm How weird already, is that? Huh? How weird is that? How weird is that? Okay, good. Sound like some backdoor back shit to me. What you talking about? Oh my son, no bop though, blood, for real. Like, I'm just being honest. We from the rack, for We ain't not with none of that. Like, it's over. Like, not mm. standing like that, but shit be over when it's already started. Okay, when you start that engine, it's already over. Ain't no turning back up to nothing. You feel me? Hey, so what you say, Catch a Beat is your biggest song to date? Hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah, by far. No, like, that's, that's the my... song that I heard that put me on. I'm not gonna lie. I Everybody. just saw uh, Asian Doll vibing to it on, 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 on Instagram, right? That's hard. Hell yeah. Uh, so tell us about the uh, the success. Oh, because must I also include how I did hear about it was via some third graders oh, turning man. up to it, okay? <laughs> For sure. I'm down. Hold on. What's the name of that song? <laughs> Catch a B. How old is these kids? 
Third graders. I'm like, okay. This for them. Yeah, I'm like, okay. Hey, that's for, yeah. hey, that's for them. Bro. Hey, but look. This for when them. you got the shorties, that's when you know you got you a good thing. Come if on, you got man. the shortest attention, you feel Come me? On, man. I'm my dad, bro. Real. Nigga, I got a real, like, kid fan base. When my son just did a show in Springfield, my dad, bro. I'm, I, we pull up, man. I'm finna go on and shit. So I'm bullying the back room with my son. The lady who owned the place came back to us. She looked at me for like six seconds before she said something. She like, she shook her head. She like, I, we just turned around 650 underage. Un, they sold the sugar out first off. Then they like, we just turned around 650 underage. You know, it was a 21 plus. They like, they won. Like, who the fuck is you? On okay, Greg Gray. Like, how the fuck, you know? Now she like, we got to bring you back for the kids. Like, she telling, like, you know? Frying people shit like, I ain't gonna lie, blue, I really fuck with kids, cause I'm finna tell you why it go way farther with a kid. And I love kids, like, you don't have a son now, so I love kids. My baby, my baby birthday tomorrow on Valentine's Day. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to your baby. baby boy. Happy sure. birthday to your baby boy. No doubt. So, um, like, you know, like, my, like, the kid fans, they just make me, they, they make me happy. That's who I rock for now, you feel me? Um, I'm trying to clean up a lot, you know? Now that I got, now that I know that, it's up for you to aim at kids with this gun violence and all that. You know, I'm just here to say that, you know, because I know probably a lot of kids, mamas and parents gonna watch this interview and like, you know, because they be gonna see my, you know, my vibe, my character, my personality, how I am and shit, you feel me? Um, and you know, I'm trying to just stop cussing and shit, make certain songs for the kids that they can vibe to, like that's not, because they listen to straight gangster shit right now. Like that's another thing, but Coming up and shit, I've been trying to get my audience to 50-50, which is male and female, gender-wise, you know? Because I'm not going to lie, I only got like three girl songs. Man. That's straight, strictly for the girls, but that's blown up. Like, Cave the Slick, that wound up being one of the biggest songs off um, Slick Season Mixtape, you feel me? And I just threw it on there, just on some, you know, I made that in a store on some just, Man, let me just try some shit. And I don't want to even for real on that shit. That shit blew up, you feel me? That shit one of my biggest songs, you know? like I. I, like, I have to make songs for the kids. I have to make songs for the females. You have to be versatile. You have to, at the level I'm at now, you know, uh, these kids and these females is listening to gangster shit. The most common area I should have is males like us because they live in the shit I live. So, of course, you're going to have that. That's easy, you know. I got females listening to gangster music. That's how you know you, you know, yeah. and I'm flowing. They like the flow. They like either me, my, they like something about me for the listen to this shit, you know. Type of shit. The kids just have no, you know, reason to listen to that shit. So I'm blessed, you know. It's like it's a blessing, you know, because you know it could be nobody listening to my music. For sure, that. For sure that. Um, just the kids, the future. For sure, just don't hop the music. Like, look, the kids, the future, yeah. for real. And I'm gonna be around a long time if I can keep them around, you know. Um, grow with them, like you know. Like, I ain't gonna lie. We wanna, we wanna be versatile, like these, these. Yeah, yeah Sean B's, the whole Detroit wave going crazy right now for sure, yeah, right? Crazy, like, hey, so on that note, just random real quick, Tiski, can you tell us, like, uh, who the MAF Tiski top five drill rappers are? Uh, from, like, all over? Like, like, up, like all over? Or just in the rack? Yo, yo top five. How you, have you put it together? Drill rappers? Dirt. Top five drill, right? Dirt, swerve, for sure. Dirk and Swerve for sure. Um, who else I'm fucking with? Like? Um, I fuck with Twenty One Savage. I'm fucking with. I'm so you go. You, so Twenty One, the drill rapper. Um, no, I ain't gonna count him as a drill rapper. No, 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 no. When he first came out, he was. He though. down there was. When and he the, first right. came out. Man, like, fuck with baby Drake. Baby drill. Drill. baby drill, yeah, baby drill, drill hard. I ain't gonna lie, I would low key though. consider twenty one a drill artist. I just never I heard too. nobody say it. I would, I, I, honestly, if you ask me, I would. You feel me? So like, so I, I, I I love my city, uh, and I fuck with Twenty One. Like, yeah, I fuck with Twenty One. One of my favorites. And my son, I fuck with his whole movement, even yeah. how he like oh. turned the baby drill up. <laughs> oh, oh man, them Sosa, you know that direct. Well, hold on, it's the Tiski top five though. We got that's, Dirk, that's Swerve, and Twenty One. And Sosa, yeah, I was gonna say them three. Top. GT, you know, I you know them my top, them my top three all time. I ain't gonna lie, just cause where I'm from. Right. And then I I gotta get out the rack and shit, so. Um, my last two, I gotta throw some salt. This is all the time. I fuck with, I fuck with Gucci. Okay. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with Wap. Man, I ain't gonna lie. So my last That's what we one, got this shit precise. from. I gotta be precise on my last one. Hold on. Yeah, you 
Gratitude, 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 yeah. You know, but I gotta put me in that good. Like, I fuck know, with that. I gotta put me in that because oh my son, I have to reach their level. You know? Yeah. That's why I gotta put me in that. And I don't listen to nobody like overall, like all oh, yeah, my T my my playlist, like them the top Word three and, and, and Gucci. I like like some of his old yeah. shit. And yeah. and Dirk and um you know, them my I ain't gonna lie, I don't listen to nobody growing up. Like I I, I locked in a lot of my Songs here and there, and there, but I never consistently kept listening to them motherfuckers still to this day, right. you know. And I gotta say me, cause now I over listen to me now and shit, you know, a lot. Feel so that's why I say me. For sure that. Um, back to the questions, right? Um, I know you've mentioned in our interview that you went to jail for about a year. You spent in jail. Yeah. yeah. Um, what was the biggest lesson you learned during that whole calendar that you've been able to apply to life still to this day? Man, man, you can't do shit in that bitch. You did to the world, man. I ain't gonna lie, you a dead man walking for in that bitch. You can't do shit. Yo, My mom used to always say, you ain't living, you just exist no in jail. You, for real, you a dead. Look, your bitch getting fucked. All the money getting made without you. On career, career, all made and spent. All, what? All the party, all the flexing, all without you, folks. And you a phone call, like you a phone call, folks. Like, like before I went to jail, I used to like not respect it. Like now, my people in jail, I over respect that shit. Like, cause I understand how it was, but like I was in that bitch for a year, for I can't do it. Like that's some shit I can't do, and it's not physically, cause ain't no nigga gonna shit with school. Like, like you know, we gonna do whatever, win, lose, or draw, we can do it. Like back and back and back on career, feel me? So physically, ain't it's just mentally wise, like it's I'm up in here like I'm waking up like seeing the toilet like damn like I'm at the bottom bunk I'm seeing that bitch like damn for I got like 200 more days in this bitch to wake up to this bitch like that you know how long that is but then imagine the motherfucker like wait imagine five you years did, you know what I mean days is five worst. years but the worst to turn your back on somebody by the end and shit like that I'm I, I went to the joint I was in Galesburg on Craig they sent me away you know, I copped out for like 450. I had, he ain't no house arrest, I had to do a year, the other year, you know? And I was in Galesburg before they sent me to Media Max. And I ain't gonna lie, I let them, like, I ain't no shit. So everybody tell me, I'm not supposed to be there. I was supposed to be at a minimum, a minimum, you know? Shit like that. That's my first charge. No, nah, but they sent me to Media Max. I mean, that bitch, the niggas with elbows on my son, like, and that bitch, like, but I'm locked in with them, they cool as hell, but I'm, I'm damn, or I'm fucking with them. They over like, I get to like for my age, I get to like figure out the deck. Like they get to fucking with me and shit. Like you know, cause I going to the store, I'm looking out for niggas, all type of shit. I'm career grade, you know. Like they get to fucking with me, I'm in that bitch niggas elbows. They like you got a wine head beard on career. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Right, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I ain't never heard like, of that. I guess some crackhead and shit like that. What crack? What they? What they just drink? <laughs> what the fuck you want to do? Twenty years <laughs> like you? It's, yeah, like that. <laughs> he say <laughs> he say he get booked for nothing though. It's like when a crackhead get booked for nothing because it get okay. cold outside and they okay. need a okay. meal or somewhere to sleep and right. shit like that. Well, right. They were just trolling, like, you know what I'm saying, like that, because they, compared to what they had, they got years of that bitch. I got one year, I'm in that bitch. Damn, I want to go home. I ain't going to lie, I was coming in, I was locked in, like, telling them, like, well, I want to go home for this shit. We can say that they used to be prep talking, like, little buzz, you tweaking, like, you finna go home, fool, like, who out the bam, I got who out the bam, this bitch, you don't even know. This how you keep your head up, this how you know, real niggas, though, and I get the, all right, get it back together, you know? It's just a mental thing, it's just like a... It's a man thing, fool. It just be a man thing, you know. And so I want to ask you this question real quick because it just came to mind, right? Um, you know, we talked about the scoon word, you know, the Lil Do shit, which also had some shit to do with Lil Zay Osama, right? With you being an upcoming artist from Chicago, did it ever make you feel like, mm, I probably don't want to be in tour with Lil Zay because Dirk running a rap game right now? 
Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. I got motion on my son. Like, a nigga jump gates and come talk to me over him. I'm hard, blood. Like, when you hard, you hard. When you hard, niggas can't duck. Like, can't nobody duck you, you know? So, it's like, it never was that. Like, I can talk to dirt over him. Okay, okay. I just... You know, I'm not no dick rider. You know, I got my own rock, my own. You know, like I hang with OTF motherfuckers that sign OTF on Craig. Like, when she come when they come. like Booney, that's my big bro. OTF Booney, that's my Booney, that's my. I be talking to him personally. He call me, I call him. Like, that's lit shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He signed OTF. The reason why I asked is because when I was just listening to you and looking at this visual right here, it reminded me of um, our interview with PGF Nook. Yeah. And Nook let it be known, like, man, if you if you go against that type of grain, like, it's it's over with. Any time I know business, so you not, any nigga who was against OTF ain't make it that far. <laughs> ain't make it that far in the industry, bro. I was on the upcoming. They already had the dope, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm signed to the label that, that Dirk signed to. You type know? shit. They weren't going to sign me, bro. They weren't trying to sign me unless Dirk told them I was cool. <laughs> oh, they weren't finna sign me. Hey, you black You know what I'm saying? You type ball. shit, right? Mm-hmm. Greg, you black ball. That's what, yeah. Yeah, so, but we, we ain't, we, man. yeah, we our own men. We from the trenches, so. No, none, ain't none. Trench gonna respect trench any day. Like, niggas looking at Dirk like he famous and. He come from the trenches, bro. You know, like he, I, he come from the trenches, so that shit don't you leave him. Small shit you know? like that, that the internet blew out of proportion because it's not beef. It's just motherfuckers say what they said and he said what they said. And so, then again, yeah, he going through the same shit. So he going through the same shit. Dirt, he, he, he's a rapper, bro. He got all type of shit about him. He go through the same shit. He knows 100% it's not true or whatever. It's just talk or just blog posts or whatever. He noticed so. But no, like motion on motion, like he gonna hide. That's you know, if a motherfucker really want to talk to you or whatever, they gonna get in contact with you. Like, so tell us what, like, what, what, what are some pros and some cons of being the hottest upcoming artist out of Chicago right now? Man, that shit come with a lot, fool. I ain't gonna lie. That shit crazy as hell. It's everybody like, shooting at you, niggas you grew up with, everybody, they not shooting at you literally, but they want your spot. Like, I, that's my little brother I've been watching from the low. There's so many people that supposed to be on our side that hate them. Like, hey, we, we get more hate from our people than love. Hey. Then the, the bad part about this shit is, like, we really be outside. A lot of these niggas only be in the house and on Instagram. We really got to deal with battles of waking up and having to make it back to the crib every day. And then we got so many people to pay. Like you get more love from people that don't know you than the people that know you. Exactly. Mm, this bitch hot, though. I ain't gonna lie. This bitch hot. I, 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 me, personally, I can go nowhere. Like, every drive through I go through, they be, damn, there's T-Ski that stay run. They go get the whole style, all type of shit, bro. It's like, I'm turnt. Like, I'm turnt, bro. Like, my- like, like, see me or chase the car down or, or like, you know, we, like, yeah. I be out to tell people, don't do that shit. You can get hurt like that. Like, you tweak it, like, it be fair. Like, you know, so I don't, you know, because I don't want nothing to happen to no fan. I'm fucking thinking all this, you know, type shit. Blood is bitch high. Like, I don't, like, I'd rather, like, not be here. I'd rather, like, go do some shit. Stay away, y'all. I'm hot as hell. Like, I'm popping, like, everybody. Like, they kids. They kids. Yeah, this city, a hate nine city anyway, bro. If you can make it out of the rock, you can make it out of anywhere. But you know? the only thing about that, Chicago will never leave our mind. No matter where we go, we For sure. acting just like Chicago. Because yeah. there's no place like home. Like Chicago. Ain't no place like Chicago home. is home. Yeah. Hey, there's no place like Chicago. You taking these traits out of town with you on Curry. Sure. This shit forever go with you on Curry. The love the rock, blood. First off, they love the rock. We be out of town over. If you, like, oh, my son, like. Love the rack, like, if you're not from the rack and you ask him, you try to check the temp, like, hey, you know TC? Like, oh, the rock or the, and then it's up, now, now they accept you. Everybody fucked up, the internet fucked, everybody had up. The internet fried, everybody shit, dude. This shit fried, I got, I'm from that 200K followers, dude. Any nigga that see my face, any bitch see my face, uh, change her whole mood, uh, change they whole, how they was just acting. You know, type shit, you know? But I got jury and shit, so I ain't even got blue check yet. I'm f***ing niggas up. I'm crazy. And I'm so water. I tell you, I want my shit. I'm asking my way, why the fuck I ain't got it? They, man, you got to get some articles out. I bet. You see niggas buying these checks and all that shit. 
Oh, that's how you gonna know my shit water, cause I could have been bought it. I could have been make it made sense and, and bought it. If I could buy it right now, you would think that it's real. I could make trick you to think that it's real right now by buying it because I'm going so crazy, you would think that. But no, you gonna know my shit very fast. I'm crazy. Ain't none of that. I don't buy nothing. None of that shit. I'm crazy, crazy. Nigga, on one, nigga, on my son, just on Apple Music, but I'm hot as hell, but just on Apple Music, I do three million streams a week. Nine million a month on one streaming source. I'm crazy. Oh my dead brother, like this shit, like, like that's what I'm saying, like. I, I heard know. you mention um G Herbo as your mentor, and we recently just interviewed G Herbo in front of a bunch of kids at the uh Martin Luther King Unity Day, uh, sometime in January, right? Yeah. Uh, but tell us how influential G Herbo has been to you as an artist and um also as a young man coming up in this game. Man, big bro, bless him. I ain't gonna lie, like, he he you know he come from. Nothing. I'm Craig Gray. Versus shit to me and like made it. Like I, every time I see him, we just sit and talk. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like just don't um, nothing, but it be something. We make something out of nothing. You feel me? Like uh the drench game shit, like one of my biggest songs for like that's my first piece of work with a with a a, a big, artist. big artist. I still don't even have the video done. You know, I'm here to tell y'all like, you know, Get what you can, you know. Don't Come on, Swerve. We brother. need the video, bro. Yeah, we, we need, need it, the video, you know? bro. But I just talked to Big Bro in L.A. when he was at the labels, bro. He said, we in the rack. He said, look, bro, you could have been asking me to shoot that bitch. You know, I just don't force it on the motherfucker. Like, he, I got the version just all love. We was in L.A., you know what I'm saying? You know, Big Bro was talking to me, and I, I played him. Hey, hell yeah, I'm like, I got something for you. I played him. Like, you feel me? When I run into big artists, and this forever. When I'm ever run into a big artist, you never see me do a song with a nigga that's way like I'm get a little baby feature. I know it. I'm talking, I'm manifesting it. You see, I told him to get my teeth bust down. I don't care what I do. I walk him down. I don't care. I put thirty in my shit on my son Johnny Dane. I don't care. You know, tweaking like I manifest everything. I'm out of song. You gonna know like. Anytime I run into a big artist, I had a song ready for. I'm not finna play in the stool with you. I'm not finna. I'm not finna try to come up with no raw shit right there. I'm not finna I don't cap write. you down. I'm not finna bap you down. Okay? We, don't, we don't need to say that. I ain't gonna bap you down, you know? That's so, a fact. like, like on my dead brother, it's just it gonna be water. Like, you can get a song, full too dumb, have a song ready for. Like, I, I'm gonna have that shit, you know? And then we can also do something that day off the of strength and not so I can show him how hard I am off the dribble because I wanna show you my creativity. That I also how you f with me. Like, I'm gonna, like, show you unique. Like, you know, once you see this shit, you feel me? So, like, this shit blasting good. Like I ain't gonna I don't even know where all these fans came from. So what sell us sell us some things that you've learned from G Herbo. Shit, blood. He tell me like, you know, like I I I wanna duck everything that he that he, you know, going through right now as an artist, you know, with breaking up with his team, finding a new team, you know, like, you know, like even exposing that shit to the world, you feel me? Um, and nobody know what the artists go through. Like, you feel me? Like right now as we speak, I'm going through so much shit, bro. But you ain't never know, you feel me? Cause that ain't for the world to know, you know? It ain't for me to broadcast, nothing like that. And I don't let that get to my mind where it's gonna fuck my work ethic up or nothing like that, you feel me? And I'm actually in tour with some of my closest people that I grew up with, you know? Off fame, off making it, and I haven't made it for real, no. I'm still in Chicago from time to time, you know? Uh, people think I got Jay-Z money, you know? I mean, that's my next track, you feel me? This track, I'm, I'm decent though. You feel me? For sure. For sure, out the trenches. There's always room for improvement, bro. Come on, man. You know. And look, check this out. As a young man, right? And I know you chasing this rap shit. You feel me? Uh, I just want you to know. I want everybody in the room to know. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna always be a nigga with more. You feel me? It's gonna always be a motherfucker with better. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And if you want me to break it down in lamest terms, I will. Right? It's gonna always be a nigga in the world with a bigger than you right for sure for real so i say it like that because comparison is the thief of joy you know what i'm saying don't worry about what another nigga doing you feel me no. just just no. focus on what's in front of you yeah. you know what i'm saying take care of your business like, feel me? take mark. care of your family this money mark he taught man? me a lot of shit with life oh my son this is my big bro he older than me we in the same grade though but he older than me though you know i grew up with him he had everything i got before me Whatever you see Tiski with, shorty got he had before me. Like he, he like taught me the game, you know. Like you know, I graduated from that shit. Uh, I took what he gave me and put the Tiski sauce on it, and you got me now, like you know. So, and I got him with. Like, this is a kid. Like he, 
I'm finna go get the, he he'll draw his own tattoos. I'm finna go get the sack chaser. I'm gonna get the sack chaser. He'll put in his notes the what he gonna see on the picture. He gonna oh, put the alpha together. Like this shit. I got captions in my him, phone like, full of captions. I can read them to you. Them bitches look I'm gonna read you. <laughs> but, but I got captions ready. I got to be ready. having the captions before look, they be having look, the pictures. Oh phone now. I can't I ain't got no time to waste. Look, hey, where you get the captions from a Drake song? I've been reading it first. <laughs> Look, the first one say, crack me a foe before I crack me a cot. I say, I ain't, I say, I ain't mean, I, I say, I ain't mean, I smile to pop your ass. That shit the same. I say, I'm a scam, but I promise I'm gonna scam you. I say, I say, I'm all through my city riding hemis, windows, tenant, buttons clicking. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm for that. Can't wait till you get the picture to fit uh, that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I tell her, yeah, pull up on me shooting. I say, pull up on me shooting like Thursday. I'm going to throw back. I'm <laughs> Right, right, right. So, also, you, 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 you getting that rhino flow with the, with the cash. Hey, you got to write in your notes. You be in the car listening to some shit. I got to use that. I'm for that. I be taking it, bud. I'm great. Up in here, dude. Like that's what made me make it though. That a lot, a lot of like people don't know and shit. Yeah. I'm fried, bro. Okay. Hey, so how long does it take to get from the suburbs to like downtown? Twenty, like twenty five. Depend on what so suburbs. Most, yeah, right. what suburbs? Like from Harvey to like downtown. No, like Hell yeah, like twenty. Depending on the traffic and all type of shit. Depending on how fast you drive it. Fuck you, somebody. Yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> bout. <laughs> I ain't gonna yeah. lie, that shit fake goofy to me because it's too fuck of the fact. Like, like if the E way clip, we making it in 10 minutes. Oh, if, they know I'm fucked up in the head. I driving all on the side of the edge of the bitch. You know, if it's traffic, it's still gonna take me that little time because I'm all on the edge of that bitch still. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just depends on how much traffic it is for real, for real. Or where you going or how far is it going? Look, this yeah, this in the last four weeks. I gotta show these. I gotta show these niggas how I'm rocking, man. Yeah, that shit going up. That shit going up for sure. That's in four weeks. Look, that's five million clicks in four weeks, man. This on Apple. I'm gonna show a nigga how I am, you know. Like, yeah. and if that just one um, platform, so what you think I'm doing on all these other ones, you know? Like, it's all about getting your numbers hey. high. I'm. Hey, hey, you only got four fingers for real, gang. Yeah. You That's ain't that hand, right? My son. On phone, no, you only got four fingers. Oh my son, this hey, shit. Look, this war wounds. Look, this shit. This shit in the blood, like blood shit. That's why I say, like. Hey, I'm, when I was shaking your hand earlier, though, I, I ain't gonna lie. It was feeling like you was missing a finger. <laughs> I just ain't want to ask. I'm like, damn, folks' hand feel a little different. No, no homo. <laughs> So so I so you so damn I ain't know you lose you lost the whole finger. Yeah, I got it no, amputated though. I ain't lose it though. He, he was fighting then. He, he was fighting then. Hold it up for the camera. But I got my shit like amputated uh, like last year when I dropped yeah yeah. I had the cast on and shit. I just came off that bitch like that's how like. Up, I am about music. I was supposed to be on Barris. I was shooting videos and shit, but look what they come out to be. But that was my first video back that did a million. It's at two million now. On Craig, that's one of my favorite songs. But if I would have stayed on Barris and like listen to the world or whatever, but I would have never had that song. I would have never shot the video, shit like that. Like, shit like, you know? Right. So, like, um, my fifth year, I got it amputated. I went to jail when I was in prison. I had it all type of shit. Like, I got it shot and then it was like, it, sh it like it hit the middle like right here and then it was on by like um like 50 and then they had, had like immediate surgery the next day but i was on the band so i had to go to cook county stroger they fucked up bro. like they on they that's not no good place to go to get your surgery but okay. see i was on no, no jumper and i wasn't trying to tell them the names of hospitals and shit because they don't know that's too much talk see we in iraq right now so you know like the the, the that's it ain't no That's damn near the worst surgery. hospital you can go Come to. Come on, man. So you know, like, you know, so I was on the band though, so I was in custody. You drawing? So, so you ain't no choice. You but know to go that. To that's struggle. like you getting your ass knocked out in the county. You can't go to no like they see your ass at that outside hospital where you go up. You go up to the you know? I'm yeah. seeing my coming fed up and, and walking. They fed up. I'm like, man, it's crazy. I'm already, you know, when I'm finna get surgery, but I can't do nothing. Gain ain't on my ass. They were trying to book me, all type of shit, you know? So, like, that's what happened with that shit. And then, like, my fifth year blood, like, my OG just, like, kept begging me and shit, because it started hurting, like, when I was in jail. And I had to um, call my OG and shit. 
She called the state blood, called like the state. They had to, you know, they was finna take me to the outside hospital to get surgery, but I had a short bed. So they won, you know, and they didn't want to do nothing because they didn't want no lawsuits. So my yeah. shit like started hurting like when I was in jail. And then that was like the third year in. And then like, I guess the bone was like. Hold on, how long was you locked up? Uh, it was no, nah, this the third year of me getting shot. Okay. You feel me? Okay. But this the year. I only did a year in prison. This right. the year, like you the six month in. Right. Feel okay, me? I, I got shot saying. when I was on house arrest, yeah. I got shot while I was on house arrest. Now, I just be asked so I could keep up with so what the fuck going on. So you keep up, I got on. shot when yeah. I was on house arrest. When I was on house arrest, the year I was on house arrest. Playing the game. Bro, I was playing a game. game. Some shots came come through strays and shit, hit me in the finger, bam. That's what happened on Craig Grace. And, and how crazy is that to be playing the game and yeah, get your fingers yeah. shot off, right? Goofy shit. Like, have your game on the controller. That's, goofy shit. That's right? typical Chicago goofy nigga shit. Goofy crazy shit. Crazy as hell, bro. Kids and all type of shit, man. Yeah. These niggas do that shit. That's how it wound up happening. They face their fears and pop up on the nigga for real. Now, with the house breaking and you being able, I mean, you know, you losing the finger stuff, did that come from, like, like the whole car cracking phase you went through? Uh, Yeah. No, nah, that, I mean, it happened, like, in the, me, in the midst of In that of, phase, yeah, right. Yeah, I'm feeling them. Because that's okay. how I was paying for my lawyer and shit. That ain't gonna lie. Right, 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 right. Well, shit. So, so, so was it? Big bro pain. Zero or somebody? Hell nah, hell nah. So hell nah. Niggas was hanging. Niggas was hanging. So we was living in like the same little complex as some little ops. I ain't gonna lie. Right. Hey. So you know, you know what you know. But yeah. they ain't ops though, cause they were gonna hurt yeah, you. Yeah, they were on the first floor. They, they was really scared of them. They shot from a hundred yards. Well, not Tiski, one of the hottest rappers in the in the, in the game right now. You feel me? Uh, definitely one of the hottest in the racks for sure. You know what I'm saying? Um. Where do we go from here, bro? What's some future goals and aspirations you have for yourself? Uh, man, we going up in Craig Gary, me and all my niggas. Y'all know how we rocking with my dear brother. I got all my members with me. I drop a tape this month. If not the end of this month, the beginning of March with my son. Big school and that bitch. Hey, Slick Big Almighty school. hard, too. On, I'll man. tell you that. That's love. That's love, From bro. top to bottom. I fuck with you. Oh, my son. That no motherfucker hard. That's hard work. You hear me? Yeah. That's hard work. I ain't gonna lie. I made my whole tape. I like, I like, I like the song with Herb, of course. I like the song hard. with Mama Mia. Hard. Uh, Mama Mia, yeah. the hard. Brady joint. It's hard. We got a new one. I'm running the next one back. Uh, actually, that video to Brady. I'm finna drop that video to Brady off Slick Almighty. Right. Uh, like in the next like couple days, you know? Uh, I just dropped a single with my boy J Mo called A. Hey, that bitch going crazy. We shot it with Jerry Productions. I got yeah. a whole tape finna drop Big Scoon on my son. So that's the name 15. of it, Big Scoon. Big Scoon. That's the next tape. Okay. tracks. Big Scoon, the biggest, y'all know. How many man. tracks? 15. Okay. Fit, four, really 14 and a bonus, so 15, you know? I'm okay. gonna say 14, you know, same shit. But on my son, no skips, top to bottom. I made my whole tape in LA this time, too, so be ready for a lot of heat coming. Hey, look, let me tell you this, man. I appreciate the energy you brought us tonight, right? Sure. Love, like I said, as I, as I was explaining earlier, as you know, just from watching, I deal with niggas on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's not on a daily basis that I receive good energy. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for um, sure. And, and I do this shit in the, in the, in the roughest city in America. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Boy. So just imagine what I be going Man. through. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I was telling you when we talk. I appreciate you for having me. Oh, my mama, I appreciate you for coming. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate your communication. For sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. What you feel? On some shit like, you know, so when we was talking earlier, that's why I said, man, hey, look, if this was discussed beforehand, then you know what I'm saying? We would know what the understanding is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just appreciate the energy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Good energy is contagious. You know what I'm saying? And a good attitude, a good attitude that you have, it'll take you far. Um, it's a saying, what it say, uh, your, 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 your attitude determines your altitude, yeah. right? Altitude meaning how far you go, you can go in life. You know what I'm saying? And I done dealt with rappers that have horrible attitudes and they stuck where they at. They can't go nowhere. Mm -hmm. They talented. They make good songs. They funny as hell. But they attitude is Ain't shitty. Shit. Yeah. So when it come to dealing Ain't with shit. people that can actually help, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. actually, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They attitude be too shitty. So a motherfucker be like, you know what? Cool. I ain't, I'm cool on you. You don't even want to deal with them. Real shit. This is really what be going on. You and feel that's me? That's why. Like I said, you could be talented as hell, funny as hell, pretty as hell, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But if your attitude ain't, ain't there, shit. a motherfucker ain't want to fuck and with you. And that's why, honestly, look, I'm out here. 
I don't like linked with niggas. I'm telling you this right now. Word. I don't interview. I told you that before the camera roll. So yep. you know we ain't just saying shit for the camera. You know, right or wrong, did I mm -hmm. tell you this before the mm -hmm. camera roll? Mm -hmm. Honey, interview, I ever did was no jumper. You feel mm -hmm. me? And I feel like that's one of the biggest platforms on earth to Tiski. And bouncing to DJU, he also feel like that's one of the biggest platforms in the world to Tiski. Fuck right. what the world say, fuck numbers and all that. That's how I got this thought. I looked at all your numbers from all your videos, and I've been new this, you know? Right. And I've been new that that's a good run for Tiski, a good shot for Tiski, you know? And it's also good for your platform, too. Back and forth, we helping each other win, you feel me? Yeah, you look goat. You know, I, we Appreciate fuck with that, you. Brother. We watch your shit. We sit, we sit at your shit at home and watch your shit a lot, bro. A lot of niggas do. Like, you got the rack with this interview and shit, and I fuck with your guys. But look, I'm just like y'all on some shit, like, you know what I'm saying? I just figured some shit out, like, man... How about I just, like, provide the platform for niggas like TC? You know what I'm saying? Like, so niggas can come share their story, pop their shit. Through. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm doing that in the meantime because um, the only thing that's certain in life is death, right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes, you know, I'm 32. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes I just be thinking, like, man, what the fuck's going to remember me for when I'm gone? You know what I'm saying? Sure. And that's I feel like that's what life is about, creating what? The people go, re right, remember you, foe, when you gone. Really like, I tell all artists this. Tell all artists this. Bouncing off what you see. Let's see the shit we doing. This. Uh, this shit. All this shit. This shit gonna be going tomorrow. In the next couple hours. Fuck tomorrow. We sitting here shooting this video. And I'm talking to you. Yep. Talking to you. No matter what happens in life. Shit this video is gonna be up forever. Yep. You shoot a music video. You steady spending your money. As an artist, you steady spending your money on this weed to get high and all this. That shit is a phase for some hours that's going to be gone. You know? You can't. And it's like an investment, but it's like some shit you get to before investing your money to, like, get ready to invest. Like, right, you know, because right. it's like you got to train yourself to, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, you know, like, I'm big on that, too. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, I'm here to, that's why I'm here today with you. Feel me? I could be doing anything, like, Right now, another choice to do is sit in the car, smoke some weed, talk to my homie, look for some moles of and go to the studio. We ain't record none of that shit. Only thing that's recorded that night is a song. <laughs> I'm Craig Gray. Mm -hmm. That's the only time it's time to record. That shit. <laughs> 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 oh, and so, and so, and so, and so with, this, with that being said, you know what I'm saying, um, like, I've, like I've mentioned probably twice throughout this interview, I said one more time, right? MAF is the hottest upcoming hottest artist from Chicago right now. None so look, you got some bars you can spit for us real quick. Uh, I'll be asking niggas for bars and niggas be acting like they don't know how to rap. But you the hottest rapper, so you can you can at least give us something you didn't already wrote before. I mm, I got I got hella shit though. I got hella shit. I can go off the top two though. But I can do all the shit I wrote. I be writing my... I don't write, but when I be in that bitch, I write the freestyle, you know? Mm. Let me see some shit I wrote. Mm. I'm Craig, I gotta do some shit. You say, because niggas get on here and tuck their shit. I be um. asking niggas to rap all the time. <laughs> niggas do not rap. Let me see some shit, man. So I change it. I be asking niggas for a message to the youth. So you can mm. give a message to the youth if you don't feel like rapping. Message to the youth, I can do both. We go pop up unannounced. It is ass up. <laughs> that ain't the message to the youth, though. Right. Keep right. going. Don't let nobody knock your dream, your hustle. I say, well, I say, I say, run up on his ass with this switch and head top him. Uh, trying to catch a op. If it's a ransom, we gonna rob him. Bitch, I'm taxed for all these leaning perks. Don't pull up with no hassle. Ain't no fast I restaurant, I'ma take that bitch straight to White Castles. If you whack it, big it, bang, you really like that, try my number. I fell in love with Michael Drake's and AIP, school gang got bumpers. Made me mad, I come right through your bitch DM like, see your number. Hit his block, bounce out that track, it's time to chase, we got a runner. No little mark that be my twin, 41 boys, we dumb and dumber. Yeah, these 7.62s, and chop his ass down like a lumber. I be locked in with this music shit. From the winter back to summer. You know I'm the number one stop in this bitch. I feel like stunner. I just got done fucking the daughter. It's time to lock in on the mama. In the streets, you tough as hell. When the police come, you turn gunner. Slicky got a few hit mans. Bring his head back for them commas. Last nigga played, he dead. Nigga, you don't want no problems. 
I'm fun now. That's some what shit, yo. Whatever y'all happen, <laughs> man. Crazy, man. MAF Tiski, DJ UTV. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to Words He Productions. Hey, it ain't shit funny when you broke. Ain't shit Make sure y'all click broke. that link, man. Hey, Shop, man. Grab hey, your hoodie real quick. Y'all gonna see me in that shit. Ain't shit funny when you broke, man. Don't fall hey, down. I got a couple racks with me too, man. You know? Nah, we just need a couple ain't hundred shit, for, the, for the hoodie. Ain't shit I don't funny need a couple racks. Broke, just a couple know? hundred. It's just play money. Ain't shit yeah, funny when you broke. You. I got a little 5,000 some shit to go. You know? Tiski. Ain't shit funny when you broke. You know? You know how we rocking, man. You I fuck with you, right. brother. Appreciate you, man. Love, my nigga. You know how we coming. Love, gang. Gang. DJ, you go crazy.